Florida. Happy Wednesday. It's gonna be 92 today, I think. I think it's 92 or 90. Thanksgiving, crazy. Um, but I, I had a, uh, oh, you got a pig racing? I had a um, interesting conversation with my new friend Jasmine yesterday. And she, one of the things she said is she loves um, that I go live. And she's, uh, what she said was so, it was awesome. Because it's, I just never thought about it this way. She's like, she's like, oh, that dog can F up. And I'm like, yeah, totally. And then it hit me. That's what so many people, that's why you're, uh, people struggle with the message I'm trying to put out. Because when the dog does something wrong, it affects us emotionally. Right? We get embarrassed, we get anxious, frustrated, angry, all those things. That's why it's hard for us, you know, to, to, you know, let our kids make mistakes because the neighbor might judge him if he doesn't go to college for the first year, right? But sometimes maybe it's better for him not to, you know, to live, to live that life lesson. My wife's friend, Susan Hyatt, did that. Her son's like a genius. And that's what, you know, she wrote a great newsletter about how she just got to a point where she just pulled back. She was like, hey, this is your life, my man. And that's what I want my dogs to think. This is your life. You get to make choices, but if you wanna, if you wanna hang here, you gotta follow the rules. So, you know, of constantly avoiding the the thing happening. You know, how are you gonna teach? So you teach when they make the error. If they never do it wrong, then they never learn. And then for me, then you're always avoiding. You know, that's what all dog training is: is avoidance. That's all it is. Sit because I'm avoiding something that I don't think I can control. Go lay on the place board when the doorbell rings because I don't know what's going to happen, so I'm trying to avoid it. And I could go on and on and on. You know, walking right now, right here. Heel, heel, because I'm trying to avoid something. No, if you want to pull in front of me because you see that guy and you want to smell him, go. And then that's where the difference between. You know what what happens in those moments of the consequence that's everybody wants to know what to do but before that you have to be willing to make the error the mid 70s were, were crazy what's up mid 70s <laughs> artem kim what's up everybody kim i hope you're well i'm gonna look at your video in a minute am i walking the oh yes my girls it's all of them there's usually a killer dog over in this fence not today you sneak attack you they sneak attack you low, these little bastards. There, there he comes. Hear him? Hey, he comes under the... And then it makes everybody go like this. Right? And then they jump. And then we ask the dog to back up. Imagine you got sneak attacked by somebody, like, running out of their house. Would you... And I asked you to slow down when you weren't feeling that. Would that cause you stress? Right, we have to think logically. So that's why I wanted to go live here, too. Because if something happens... I pick, up the, I pick up the speed. I teach them what to do with the energy because the energy's coming, especially with these two, this one and the other big one over here. You see how reactive her nervous system is? They just stop. Look how fast. So that's why she struggles sometimes on leash. Anyway, uh, I spent so much time controlling behavior and finally worked with trainers who helped me know what to do so they could make the mistakes. And Larry, yes, right? My mentor calls it consequence therapy. If I always, so if you want to, if I want to tell you, you know, if, if you want to touch the stove, this is what he says. If you touch the stove, I say, hey, don't touch it. It's hot. How the hell do you know what hot means? What does hot mean? Why can't I charge the door? What, what, like, I don't understand. So I'll always have to stop you. It's hot. Stop. Because they don't know. But if you could dial it down to a three, they touch it and it's ow. They know what hot feels like. And are they going to do it again? Nope. And that's why people are struggling for so long with behaviors. It's because they're thinking about controlling the physical instead of the mental. And the mental just, the mental falls right into place once you connect to somebody physically. Have a good conversation with somebody, right? Have a good conversation with somebody at a party at the holidays. And see if that turns in from, a, hey, how are you, to a hug. Right? This is just basic it's just basic, but you know, we just, 
Oh, I'm just getting sold a little bullshit, but it's fine. Anyway, Gracie says happy Thanksgiving. Mize is back there if you guys celebrate Thanksgiving. Monkey's over here. She knows this. See, this is right here. Boom. She's going to get it because this fence. This is why it's so stressful. I, I hardly ever walk her over here, but that's why I brought him over here in case there was something that happened. I could just have like a little example of how I'll pick up the speed. But anyway, all right, everybody. If you need anything from me, you know how to get in touch. There's like a hundred ways. Ah!